It is Monday and your favorite yoga class is here with Yekaterina. As I promise, I will take the class as well, but I'll be in the background. So you're not going to be able to see me. Uh, sorry for the delay. We had a, a few technical difficulties. So we're ready to start. I don't see anybody, but I'm sure a lot of people will join us live. Enjoy the workout. Good morning, everybody. I hope you can hear well. And um, <clears throat> we're going to start at seated position as always. And we'll do a little meditation for the beginning and setting all the intention. So if there are some of you who are um, a little bit um, has difficulty sitting in this position, so I always advise to use either a towel or a cushion or a block if you have blocks at home. So you just want to really make this part of the back, I don't know if you can see, lower back really straight. So if you can sit on a towel or something taller than the floor, it's going to be helpful. All right. So just close your eyes, place your hands on your knees, <clears throat> and start to rise from the sitting bones all the way up into your crown. And find your center. You want to lengthen through the spine and be seated and centered over your sitting bones. So rock forward and back and see where you're at. Start to relax throughout your shoulders and arms, relax through your knees and hips. And just reach even more with your crown. Feel yourself totally aligned and centered. Bring your chin backwards a little bit to align the neck with your back. Take five deep breaths. these five breaths. Just keep watching your breath while you breathe normally. And notice how straight and relaxed you can be at the same time sitting in this sitting position. And just notice your breath. Stay in your center and focus on yourself and on the breathing. And as you breathe, start to imagine this flow of light that's streaming down from the space Entering your crown chakra and passing down the spine, lighting every other chakra down the body and going down to the ground to energize your chakras, to energize your center. <clears throat> so just see yourself connected to this universal light of love and energy of life through your spine as you're sitting straight. Each 
each inhale and exhale, see the flow entering and passing through your body. palms together at the heart center. <clears throat> and with this flow of energy, just focus a little bit more on the center of your own light. And just remind yourself that you are this light. You are this divine light that is always in the center and you always can recharge it by sitting up straight and visualizing the flow of energy. The feel of your body. And let's focus on the inner light today even more than any other day of the week. Let's focus on this inner healing, positive light that we can bring out to the world even in the dark times just being at home, sitting up straight, and visualizing this bright light from your heart, expanding and shining out to the world. Now let the intention be for today is to expand this light and to remind ourselves throughout the every day's moment about this light and how we can shine it through our words, our feelings, our emotions, our mimical gestures, just our behavior in general. Acting from love, acting from light, acting as a positive, bright being as we all are. One deep breath in. And then you open your eyes and now move on to child's pose. I see people are here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <coughs> okay, we're going to start in child's pose with our knees wide. Our arms really far away from the shoulders and sit back as much as you can with your hips. Drop your head and take another five deep breaths through the nose. Drop your head. Next exhale, we're going to come up to table top. Bring our knees and the hips, wrist on the shoulders. And we're going to find the center with the balance. So we're not leaning forward or back, we're right in the middle. And we're going to take a neutral back by pulling the belly in and just spreading the collarbone wide, reaching your crown forward. Spread your fingers and plant your palms down to the ground, really push the ground. And just by creating space in the body, we're going to take three breaths here just to feel that neutral position of the body. Create space for your neck, for your back, for your shoulders. And the next inhale, don't change anything in your weight, shift it in your, in your um, 
positioning here. We're just going to open through the upper body, through the chest, look up and inhale for cat and cow. And then exhale, round through the back, keep the center the same way it was. And just push the ground away. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, round and drop your head. Inhale, open even more. Exhale, round, push the ground away. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round even more. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round to the back. Inhale, look up. Each time we're going to do, try to do a deeper stretch, deeper arch or round. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. We're going to do it three more times. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, open up. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Now tuck your toes under. And place the weight onto the big toes and just sit back onto those heels to stretch your feet, stretch your toes, <clears throat> keep your back spacey, keep your shoulders away and just push slightly back so you could sit and stretch the toes, stretch your feet. Take another three breaths here. Keep your palms wide. to get to down facing dog. So remember how I explained before, if there are people who are new from tabletop, we're creating that neutral back and spacey body. And now the only thing we're going to do to get to down facing dog is just to straighten through the legs and let the upper body be the same. So don't change anything in the upper body. Okay, get into your down facing dog. Push the weight back onto the feet and spread the collarbone wide, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Swing your hips higher, belly in, and plant the palms, spread the fingers away from each other, really far, so stretching. Take three more breaths in your down facing dog, three breaths. step forward into the forward fold. Drop your hand, you may relax and uh, bend your knees slightly for now. Just drop your hand, bring the weight to the front of the feet. Relax your shoulders and arms and stay here for five breaths. You may use the block for your hands or something else that you may have at home. Breathe. Shake it from side to side so you can relax your neck. Keep the weight on the front of the feet. And now pressing through your feet, come up to standing. Reach up, inhale. And exhale, hands by your sides in the mountain pose. <coughs> so the mountain pose we're going to align. Checking his Pascal's position. Well, at least I have somebody to look at. <laughs> okay, we're going to press the inner arches down like we always do and turn our legs outwards if you can see the little gap in between the thighs. There we go. And we're going to lift over the hips, squeeze the shoulders and chest and upper back down, bring the chin backwards, and now palms facing forward. 
So stay in this engagement for three more breaths. You may close your eyes or keep it open. Just feel that alignment all over your body. up lengthen through the spine and exhale into the forward bend take five breaths in here drop your head straighten through your legs a little bit better this time <clears throat> and drop your head a little heavier bring the weight in front of the feet breathe On the inhale, we're going to flatten the back and exhale, step back to high plank and hold it for three breaths. <clears throat> I'm going to plant the palms and shift the weight a little bit more over the wrists. Keep your hips a little higher, engage your core and lift over those joints. On the exhale, we're going to bend the knees if you want to bend the knees or if you want to hold the high plank all the way up with me. So I'm just going to show the, the knees down the hips up, the core is in. And now we're going to turn our elbows inwards to just lower the chest right over the wrists. Exhale, and on the inhale, we're going to open through the upper body, lift our legs by just engaging them and the core. And on the exhale, we're going to swing our hips back up to down facing dog. Okay, in the down facing dog, take another five breaths. <clears throat> and each time you go to down facing dog, straighten through your legs a little better. <clears throat> Let your heels sink a little lower. Inhale, look up, step forward, you take a forward back. Take three breaths in your forward bend and have a deeper stretch in your legs if you can. And drop your head even lower this time. Inhale, halfway lift up, flat back. Exhale, step back to high plank. The same way we're going to have it for three breaths. So bring the weight a little bit more over your wrists. Engage your core. Lift over your shoulders. And use the muscles over your arms. Don't hang onto the bones. You want to lift up and use the muscles. Exhale, you may bend the knees. Turn your elbows in and squeeze the arms into your body. Lower your chest to low plank. Inhale, open up to upward facing dog. Lift your legs. And exhale, bring back to down facing dog. Take another three deep breaths in your down facing dog. Remember to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Create space for your neck. Create space for your body. On the next inhale, look up, step forward to the forward bend. Once again, have a deeper bend this time. Each time we'll go to a forward bend. Have three breaths taken here. to show you this way <clears throat> how we don't want you to stand. We want to elongate the spine all the way from here to here. You want to bring your chin backwards to align your neck. And the same way we're activating through the feet. So press the inner arches down, turn your legs outwards, inhale, reach up, and exhale, forward back. Take three breaths. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift up. 
Exhale, step back to heart lift. Engage your core. Inhale, shift the weight over the wrists. Exhale, lower to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, look up, step forward, and look forward back. Take three breaths. Bring yourself even closer to your legs. Exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips, swing your hands up. We're going to chair pose. Hold here for five breaths. Bring the weight on the back of the feet, on your heels. Keep those shoulders drawing down. Breathe. Exhale, forward bend, straighten through the legs. Inhale, halfway lift up, flat back. And exhale, step back to high plank. And once again, inhale, engage your core, shift the weight. Exhale, lower to low plank. You may bend your knees, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, down facing Take another three breaths in your down facing dog. Have the weight a little bit more backwards to the feet. Have your hips a little bit higher than the few first times. Inhale, look up, step forward. Into the forward bend, take three breaths. Now exhale, bend the knees, sink your hips. We're going to chair pose once again for three breaths now. You can sink your hips a little lower this time if you can. Shift the weight onto your heels. Reach your hands up, draw your shoulders down. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift up. And exhale, step back to heart. Inhale, engage your core. Exhale, lower to low plank. Elbows facing backwards. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down. Take deep breaths. Take three breaths of them. And keep pushing the weight back onto your feet. Try to lower your heels this time, a little bit lower. On the next inhale, we're going to lift the right heel up into three legs down facing dog and push the weight even more back onto that left foot. Take three breaths. Engage your core, engage your arms, engage your legs. And on the exhale, we're going to step through, align the heels, and we're going to warrior one. So we're aligning the heels, and then we're squaring our hips in order to take that down the face. I'm oh, sorry, what is this? The warrior one. And we're going to lift our hands up, and the same way as we always do, align the back. So we don't arch much through the lower back. We're going to tuck the tailbone down and reach up with our hands. Draw the shoulders down and take three breaths in here. Keep the engagement through the feet. Remember how we press the feet down and outwards in order to activate the legs and the shins and the feet. Press outwards. Breathe and feel this engagement. On the inhale, we're going to slide back bend. Just open through your chest. And inhale, I'm sorry, ex exhale. We're going to hover over the thigh and sink a little bit deeper this time. And when we do this, we're going to press the back foot even more back and have that line from the back ankle all the way to the fingers. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, back bend, open through the chest, and exhale down to the mat. We're going to step back to high plank. We want to down facing dog, whatever you choose. Inhale, engage your core. With bent knees, you can go down to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, and 
So see what can happen when you open the hips. So want to keep them squared and just engage through that leg and keep pushing the weight back into that right foot. Take three breaths. Engage your legs. On the next exhale, step through. And align your heels. We're taking the warrior one on the left side. <clears throat> so square your hips and start to engage through your feet. Press the feet down and outwards. Remember the knee is right over the ankle. We don't want this to happen, right? <clears throat> so reach your hands up and start to engage through your feet. Press down and outwards. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Breathe. Keep pressing through your feet. On the next inhale, we're going to back bend, open through your chest, and exhale. Hover over the left thigh and sink a tiny bit. Keep pressing the back foot, more back. Engage the back leg, even more. Take three breaths. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, back bend. And exhale, down to the ground. Step back to high plank or down facing dog. Your choice. Inhale, engage your core. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale. Inhale, lift your right heel up. Hold it for three breaths. Once again, we want our hips squared. Push the weight back into that standing leg. And exhale, step through. We're going to warrior two on the right side. <clears throat> Align your heels and we're going to open to warrior two. So in warrior two, our feet are much wider than the warrior one. So we want to make sure that the knee is right over the ankle. Okay. We're going to open up and we're going to find the center once again. <clears throat> so our shoulders are right over the hips and our chin is right over the right shoulder. So we're looking over to the right. Tuck your tailbone down and once again remember how we have to. Help our low back to stay neutral. Now start to press through your feet like we always do, down and outwards. And feel the engagement. Breathe. On the next inhale, we're going to reverse warrior two. Side body stretch here, so place your left hand on the left leg and open up, bend, and sink your hips a little bit lower this time. So you want to reshape the weight, so it's not too much onto your back leg. You want to sink down and redistribute the weight, okay? Keep drawing the right shoulder down and away from your ear, and keep pressing through your feet. Your legs are engaged, breathe. And exhale, come back to warrior two. Realign once again, where you were. Inhale, straight through your right leg. <coughs> and we're going to triangle here. So you want to shorten your stand if you like. And you can use a block or a towel. Inhale, open through your chest. And exhale, start to turn forward into the triangle. Place your right hand outside the right foot. Lift your left arm up and lift yourself over this right hand. So I don't want you to collapse here. I want you to lift and help yourself to twist, open up, look to the side or look up to the ceiling, wherever you can look. And keep drawing that right hip into the front wall, right? And the left ribs into the back wall. You want to align your left ear 
with your left ankle. Now once you're here, I want you to keep pressing through the feet. Down and outwards and keep that engagement throughout your legs. Breathe. Two more breaths. Exhale, press through your feet. Come back up to standing. And then we'll go down to the ground. Side back to your down facing dog. Take three breaths in your down facing dog. Remember to have the space for your neck, shoulders away from ears. And on the inhale, we're going to lift our left heel up. Take three breaths in this downward facing dog, and three legs. Keep pushing back with the heel. And exhale, step through. Big step forward. We're going to open to warrior two on the left side. So I'm going to show you here, so you can see on the both sides, how we engage the body. So you want to tuck your tailbone down, make sure there's no arch in your lower back. So you tuck it down, neutralize the lower back. Okay? If your heels are on the same line, you're going to open that left hip and turn your body to the side. So your chest is front. You're going to look over the left, and again, find where you are at. The shoulders want to be right over the hips. Your chin is back. Align with your left arm. Your shoulders are down, not here. They're down and away. Now start to engage so your feet and press down and outwards. You want to activate your legs and breathe. this activation on, keep the fire on. On the next inhale, reverse warrior two, side body stretch, sink your hips a little bit lower this time as you bend and draw the shoulder away from your ears. Take three deep breaths, keep pressing through your feet. Exhale, come back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten through your right leg, left leg, right? Shorten the stand. And again, we're not locking the knees. You remember, we're activating them. So by pressing them outward, you want to activate them. Inhale, open through the chest. And exhale, go down to the block or to the floor with your left hand outside the left foot. And the right hand is up to the ceiling. We're going to draw that left hip into the front wall and right ribs into the back wall in order to open and align the left side with the left side and right side with the right side. Breathe. Keep pressing through your feet, engage your legs, reach up with your right hand and create space for your neck. Two more breaths. On the next exhale, press through your feet. Come back up to standing. And then we go down to the ground. Step back to down facing dog. Take another three breaths in your down facing dog. Have a deeper stretch in your legs now. Push back. And exhale. Bend your knees and just sit down to child's pose for three breaths. Relax, drop your head and take three deep breaths. On the next exhale, we're going to push back to downward facing dog. And I told him we're in the yoga. Activate through your feet by pressing the inner arches down and turning the legs outwards. Remember? So 
I want to push the walls out with the hips. Activate the hips. Take three breaths here in this activation. On the next inhale, we're going to go to the toes of, uh, on both of feet and try to walk with no much weight onto your feet. So you're going to engage with the core. So what I want you to do is to lift your hips with the core. Don't collapse on your legs. So you're going to lift, engage the core, and bring the feet closer and closer by using the squeezing motion in the core. Closer and closer, all right? We're going to bring our feet hip with distance apart. And if you can grab your big toes, or your shins or your ankles, you're welcome to do so. So on the inhale, we're going to flatten through the back, create the space in your neck, in your back, in your lower back, and bring the weight forward. So I want you to be forward, all right? Inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to draw yourself even closer this time, using the arms, relax your arms and your shoulders, and drop your head, your neck is relaxed, and you're just pulling yourself closer to your body, to, I'm sorry, to your knees. And take five deep breaths in here. Feel the stretch all along your backs of the knees. Breathe. On the inhale, we're going to flatten through the back once again. Create the space. And one more time, we're going to pull ourselves even closer. Exhale, and take another five breaths. Exhale, flatten through the back. And now let's take three breaths in the flat back. So I just want you to feel that spaciness in your body. All right, so bring the weight partially on your hands. Either your hands are on the blocks or on the ground. And just feel that space for your body. Now we're going to step back to down facing down. So your legs are a little bit more stretched now. <coughs> Push the weight back into your feet. Once again, engage through your arms. Great space for your neck, shoulders away from ears. Breathe, take three breaths here. Keep those legs stretching. And on the next inhale, we're going to step our right foot forward. <coughs> Big step forward. And we're going to crescent lunge. So I want you to spin your left heel up to parallel your feet and sink the hips down. Now we're going to reach our arms up and just stay here. Again, knees over the knee, uh, over the ankle. <coughs> so, yes, here we go. Uh -huh. <coughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so on the classic lunge, Yeah, you're good. The hips are square, our core is engaged, and our tailbone is down. So I'm going to lengthen through the spine, reach up, and draw the shoulders down. On the next exhale, as we engage through the feet, pressing through the feet, we're going to open all the way to the right. So we're opening to the right, having a little twist. Keep those hips square, you're just going to reach beyond your fingers, and keep those shoulders away. Take three breaths here in the crescent lunge, twist it to the right. And if you can move back as much as you can all the way to the right with your hand. And exhale, bring your hands back up. And now we're going to place our hands on the mat and bring your hands in front of the right foot. Now the right foot is walking all the way to the right. <clears throat> now we're going to sink the hips a little bit lower, but keep the back leg engaged and straight. 
just going to sink the hips, open through your chest and lift yourself over those shoulders. You want to keep those shoulders drawing down, hips are drawing down, your chest is opening and your back leg is engaged. Now bend your left leg, untuck the toes and sink the hips a little lower now. Now we're going to place our hands onto the right knee, <clears throat> lift, lengthen through the spine and sink the hips a little lower. So just take five breaths here, feel the stretch all over your left inner, what is this, hips, right? And keep those shoulders down, even though you want to kind of lift yourself, draw the shoulders down and sink the hips. And the next exhale, we're going to lower down with the same position. If you have blocks, you may place your elbows onto the block, or you can place your elbows all the way down if you can reach. If you can't reach down, you can stay in the same position, just sink a little bit lower. So I'm going to go all the way down here. And I want you to open your right um, hip and draw that um, right knee outward. So you're kind of letting that knee fall. And now find that center in between the right and left. So there is a tendency to lean onto one side. I want you to find the center between the right and left. Take three more breaths here. And slowly start bringing yourself back up. Tuck your left toes under and push back into down facing dog, bring your foot back, swing your hips up, push the weight back into your hip, once again, lower your heels down and stretch into the legs a little bit better this time, as we're going to the end of the class, your body is much more warmer now, alright, take two more breaths in your down facing dog, create the space, keep our belly in, we keep the ribs to bend, we keep the shoulders away from ears. And the next inhale, step forward with your left foot. And spin your right heel up into the crescent lunge. So your feet are parallel. We're going to lift our hands up. Engage through your legs. <clears throat> so as always, the knee is right over the ankle. chest and again center yourself over the hips so you don't want to be here tending forward you want to keep your shoulders over your hips and then you open and look back all right exhale come back to center and we're going to place our hands down inside of the left foot both hands down I'm just going to lift through the chest open with the chest and now engage your back leg even more sink your hips keep those legs engaged breathe over your shoulders spread your palms your fingers and breathe keep engaging the back leg breathe Again, I want you to sink the hips lower, but open through the chest. Draw the shoulders down. And keep sinking those hips while you're reaching out with your crown, with open chest, and you just breathe. Breathe through the stretch. 
stretch your muscle. Let the air in and out. Sink the hips. And with each exhalation, let it go and let it sink a little lower. On the next exhale, we're going to place our hands down. And if you can reach with your elbows down to the mat or towel or block, do so. And have a deeper stretch here. We're going to open that knee, the left knee, out to the side. And find the center between right and left. Once again, find your balance. <clears throat> and stay here for another five breaths. Always try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. If you're up here, just open through your chest and sink your hips. And maybe with the, at each exhalation, you can slightly bend your elbows. supporting you so you don't collapse, pushing away, not lifting up. So on the next exhale, we're going to forward bend with our one foot in, right foot into the left inner thigh. Let the knee fall, inhale, open through your chest, and with a strap or a towel or any prop or without, with open chest, we're going to exhale and lower down. So take five breaths here. Breathe deeply on each exhale. You let it go and let the stretching muscle relax and let you lower yourself. Don't pull much. See your limitations, but breathe through it. Three. Switch the side. <coughs> Let the left knee fall out. Relax the left knee hip. Inhale, open through your chest. And exhale, reach with your chest. Not with your shoulders, not with your head. Draw it all the way back. If you can't go down, that's okay. Just stay here. Open up through your chest and just grab your shin here and keep reaching with your chest. Keep opening with your chest while squeezing those shoulders down. That's all you have to do, okay? Breathe.
two more breaths. And exhale, come back up. And shake your legs out. And one other stretch we're going to do with our legs away. <clears throat> to round your lower back so I want to encourage you to really sit yourself on those sitting bones and tend forward with your pelvis first even if your legs are here even if they're here it doesn't matter <clears throat> what matters is you sit on the sitting blocks if that's too uh, sitting bones right if that's too difficult you also can sit on the block on the towel the same way it's going to help you to lift and to protect the lower back from rounding. Okay? Now we're going to flex the feet, engage the legs, lift up, lift up, lift up, and keep that engagement here while we're going to reach our right arm up, bring your left hand onto the right hip, and exhale, bend to the side. Doesn't matter how low you go, it matters how square you are with your upper body. You don't want to close here and round. You want to open up your chest and be able to breathe. So you can just stay here, or even here. Keep drawing the shoulders down. Yes. Then open the chest, breathe. Keep flexing those feet, engage through the legs. Open your chest. You want to be square towards the screen. Breathe. And exhale, come back to center. Take it slow and switch the arm. The left arm goes up to the ceiling. The right hand goes onto the left hip. Flex the feet. Inhale, open through the chest. And exhale slowly. Feel a stretch all over the side of the body. You don't have to go low. Keep it squared and spacey. Breathe. Two more breaths. Keep that shoulder away from your ears. Exhale, come back to center. And now we bring your feet together into the final stretch. So we're going to grab the toes with the hands. And once again, sit up nice and tall. And we're going to place the elbows weight onto the thighs, on the thighs, onto the calves. So we're going to just bend forward with your open chest like always and press those elbows into your calves and just reach forward with your chest so it helps you to keep yourself centered and somewhat try to bring yourself a little bit lower so the only thing I want you to feel right now is your open chest and your stretching thighs so as you press down your stretching thighs keep opening through your chest Three more breaths. And exhale. Relax. Bring your knees together. <clears throat> and just squeeze your knees into your chest. Squeeze and lift up with your chest. Feel those hip flexors are stretching and relaxing here. We'll squeeze it in. Mm -hmm. Before we go to relax. So favorite part of the class, we're going to lie down. So I'm just going to show you how it's better to lie down if you have any back pain. So if you have low back pain, I want you to place something under your knees right here so that your lower back is released. It can be towel, a blanket, anything you have at home. If that's okay, we want to relax our legs and spread our legs away. Place our palms facing up and so we're flattening through the back as much as possible, drawing the shoulders away, shoulder blades together, all the way into the mat and then relax. So feel space for your neck. And lastly, you want to bring your neck as close to your mat as you can as well, flatten through the neck, the chin is dropping down, the jaw is relaxing and the neck is stretching 
and becoming flatter. Okay, and this position we can relax. Then close your eyes, maybe put some music for you. I'm going to sit up so I can talk enough for you to hear. So start to notice your body relaxing all over your body parts from your head, down the body, all the way down to the toes. So start to notice your body and your breath working together and as you exhale your body relaxes even more each time. So start to focus on your breath. And let it happen by itself without forcing it. your body relax even more with each exhalation as it rests on the mat. Take one deep breath in and expand your lungs. And exhale. Relax even more with this exhalation. And get back to your center, to your heart, and focus there for a moment. See how long you can focus on this centeredness of your body, of your soul. Centeredness, stillness, peacefulness inside of your world, into the center of your being. Observing your breath as you focus on your center, start to visualize the flow of energy, the flow of light that we connect to through our spine, through our heart. <coughs> so if you can visualize the spiraling flow of light streaming down to your heart center, feeling your whole body with this sparkling bright light and then passing down to the ground and again and again with no stopping this light is flowing through you with each inhale and exhale you take Visualize this bright light, this spiraling motion entering your body and feeling your whole body with this light, the energy of life, the unconditional love, compassion, peace, harmony, all this is filling your body, filling your soul. With this flow of energy, your own light in the center 
becoming becoming even brighter and bigger. And notice how you yourself can grow this light just with your own intention. When you decide to grow this light, it expands bigger and it shines out to the world. So let's all together just bring our intention to grow in this light from the center of the body and sharing it with the world in order to just spread more love and light and compassion and peace into the world. to your body and awaken your body by slowly moving fingers, hands, your shoulders, your neck, your toes. And turn it to one side before you come up to sit it. Take a breath there with no strain on your back. Sit in a cross-leg position. Once again, I'd like you to straighten through the back as much as you can, aligning your spine in order to connect with universal divine light. So you want to just sit up straight and relaxed with your eyes closed. Place your wrists onto your knees and connect the thumb and the index finger together. Give a little bit of brush in between those fingers to create more peace. And lift up with your crown as much as you can. And once again, bring your attention back into your center, into your heart. And take a moment here to focus on this present moment. This present 
breath that is happening by itself. And let the flow of energy charge you once again through your spine. on this light within and remind yourself throughout the day that you are the source of this light, love and compassion that each one of us can share with each other and with the world to make it a better place. Namaste. What a good class we had. I hope you enjoyed it the way I did. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. Have a wonderful day.